know. Um, but but we get to have such really cool stuff happen during the show. I've never mm -hmm. had pyro before. Oh yeah, pyro. Okay. I've never had like aerialists before. Mm -hmm. And this this stage, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's got this grand staircase mm -hmm. and um, the stage in itself looks like an old uh, old world theater. So it looks like we've brought a theater into an arena and, and you know, the stadiums we're going to get to play this summer that I can't believe we get to play stadiums. Um, I'm just so excited wow. about this tour. Like, mm -hmm. I just smile whenever I think about it. I want to, like, live on that stage. Mm -hmm. I, I love it so much. The, um, what, what, I mean, Cir so that's like Cirque, how do you say it? Cirque du Cirque Soleil. Soleil, yeah. Yeah, that's, and did you design all of this, or? Yeah, yeah. I, that was one of my favorite things about this, is, mm -hmm. is getting to design this stage and getting to, you know, sit down with the carpenters and the designers and, and decide things like making the, the floor of the stage have, look like it's a wood floor. Mm -hmm. You know, just little details like that that all come together to make it um, an extension of who you are. And that's what, you know, when I go to a concert, I hope to see that from the person that's on stage entertaining us. It's it's like you want to get to know them better. Yeah. You want to know what they like. You want to know what, you know, the stories are behind these songs mm -hmm. that have become songs that, you know, reflect what you're going through too. So I just hope people leave the concert feeling like they know me better. Okay, well, I, I think we're all getting to know you better right now. Keep hit, hitting us on the, with your tweets, hashtag Ask Taylor. You mentioned, um, well, I want to talk about the, um, the song you wrote for the upcoming album without getting into the album, but I want to talk about the Speak Now and just your inspiration for your next album. But first, I want to take some tweets. If you could travel to anywhere in time, where and when would it be? Um, I would want to see uh, probably... New York City um, around the turn of the century. Why is that? Because, you know, it looks so drastically different now than mm -hmm. how it probably looked back then. And, um, you know, I just, I just think that would be really exciting. New York City turn, okay, cool. We're gonna take some, that's interesting. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna think on that one. All right, um, I'm from Norway and I'm going to Nashville next year. Any special places I should see? Love you, Rebecca Smith. Yes, okay. First of all, shout out to Norway because I love it there and I love everybody there. Um, second of all, Nashville. You want to go see, you want to go to Hillsborough Village because okay. it's really cute, this little bohemian shopping, shopping district. You shop there? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, it's walking distance from my place. Okay. Um, there's this coffee shop called Fido that I love. Mm -hmm. um, there's a restaurant called City House that's really cool. There is, oh my gosh, I'm blanking. Why am I blanking? This is my town. I love it there. Um, there is like Green Hills area, mm -hmm. there's Ryman Auditorium, you can go and see shows. There's Cafe Coco that's open all night. Um, do you grocery shop? Like, do you I go to do, yeah, but. Taylor Swift goes to the grocery store? Really? Yeah, I love the do grocery store. Do I sound store. crazy right now to you? The, I mean, do, I, do people come up to you or? Yeah, but I mean, they're all really nice. Mm -hmm. So it, it's like, the grocery store is one of my favorite places. Like you hear some of the coolest stories, like when you talk to people in line at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. It's really fun. Wow, that's interesting. I like that. Okay, so I think you answered her question. Uh, real quick, you know, the Speak Now album um, did so well, um, having outsold any other artist of any genre in 2010, and your first week sales um, being the biggest first week sales since 2005. And this is in relation to your next album, but not going into your next album, because you haven't done that yet. <laughs> yeah, we have Okay, we won't talk about the next album, <laughs> okay? Uh, <laughs> but are you, are you setting the benchmark for your, for your next album to be that high, or do you not even think about those sort of things? I try to focus on the things that I can control. Okay. You know, the things that I can control is how, uh, how much work and how much effort I put into an album, and how much of myself I put into an album. Um, you know, you can control that. You can eat, sleep, live, and breathe this album until it's where you want it, until it, you're so proud of it that you know it's ready to go. Mm -hmm. You can control what pictures on the front cover, you can control the lyrics of it, all kinds of things, but what you can't control is how much it sells. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try as hard as I possibly can from here on out to, to put out things that I'm so proud of and that my heart is in. Mm -hmm. but. You know, it's up to the fans 
the fact that the first record, like the fact that the first week of this last record sold over a million copies, that's the fans. <laughs> yeah, right. Like I, and I, that's why I'm so blown away by them. That's why I can't wait to get out on tour and thank them personally because mm -hmm. I just still have a hard time believing that I got to have that experience. Mm -hmm. do, do you think about, because I've watched you over the years evolve as an artist and also as a, as a young woman and you know a lot of artists reach that point in their career where the music they made years ago wouldn't necessarily match the person they are today. Uh, moving forward, like I remember Rihanna did The Good Girl Gone Bad and Britney had her moment where she just kind of went from appealing to one audience when she did the I'm Not a Girl but Not Quite a Woman record and almost growing up in front of our very eyes. Do you feel like you reached that point yet musically? I don't know. Um, I think, you know, retrospect will tell a lot. You know, years from now I'll be able to look back and be like, oh, I didn't know anything back then. Um, but I think that, you know, my first record came out when I was 16. Yeah. The next one, Fearless, came out when I was 18. And this one came out when I was 20. Yeah. So um, I think there's a lot of personal growth as a person. The kind of things you say when you're hurt, mm -hmm. uh, when you're 16. Like I had this song called Picture to Burn that's like talking about how I hate your truck, I hate <laughs> that you know you ignored me, and I just hate you. And it's and now the way that I would say that and the way that I would feel that kind of pain mm -hmm. is a lot different. It's a lot it's a lot different as you grow up and you you kind of understand that like there are different ways of saying things. And mm -hmm. um, so like I look back on my record I made when I was 16 and I'm so happy I got to make it. Yeah. I'm so happy I got to like immortalize those emotions of when you're when you're so angry that you just you just hate everything and you just write that song. I'm mm -hmm. so stoked that I got to record that because it's like it's like recording your diary over the years, yeah. and that's a gift. That definitely is a gift. You we we've all watched you um, do that very thing. And then I also wanted to just think back at this video, the story of us. Uh, the other thing that stands out to me is your acting. You know, you really, oh, really? Yeah, you really, you know, although I know it's a Taylor Swift video, you know, I think we all uh, buy into the characters that you play in your videos. And then when you did Valentine's Day, that was extremely <laughs> hilarious. Thank um, you. Uh, we talked about that in our story of us, uh, real. What's, what's going on with you with acting? Are there any roles that you're pursuing right now? I think for me, acting is just incredible because it's a great way to tell a story. Mm -hmm. I am obsessed with the idea of telling stories, like songwriting, that's an amazing way of telling a story. Being on the stage, that's an amazing way of telling a story. And I think acting, if the story's right, is an incredible way to tell a story. Mm -hmm. So I would love to pursue scripts that are that are really moving to me and, and something that I would want to um, you know, take time off and go and be on set and become a different person. Um, I think that would be wonderful if it was the right thing. Okay, so you're not opposed to it at all? Not at all. Okay, cool. We'll take one more Twitter question. Um, all you got to do is hit us, hashtag AskTaylor, and we'll see if we can pull one more up. Um, how did you figure out the wardrobe for the Story of Us music video? The Story of Us music video wardrobe really came from the theme of the Story of Us, which mm -hmm. was, um, you know, Ivy League college. And I just felt like um, if we could kind of go in the direction of sort of sophisticated, sort of preppy, um, kind of like these these kind of golden tones of the colors. Now I'm getting really geeky. Um, <laughs> but basically, I just felt like the um, the wardrobe should be um, based or like sort of the theme of the video. Mm -hmm. Like you see these kids and they're all in the library and you know what kind of school they go to. You know it's kind of like prep leaning. So mm -hmm. I've always wanted to do a video with that kind of style. Okay. Did you do do, do you ever feel like you ever want to go to back go to college and live that life at all? No. Um, I I always walk through Vanderbilt campus whenever mm -hmm. I'm going to get coffee. I always walk through their campus and they probably think I'm really weird. Um, but uh, I, I don't think that Right now, that's what I need to be doing, you know? I, uh, I love doing this. I'm having the time of my life. And I want to know as much as I possibly can. By the time I reach the end of my life, I want to know as much as possible. So if that means taking classes mm -hmm. or just going in the direction of whatever I'm passionate about at that time, I'm open to that too. But I don't really think that right now taking four years and actually going to college at this time is, is the right thing for me. Okay. Well, listen, I... You know, we could sit here and talk all day. Yeah, we could. Okay, and uh, and it's always fun. We have yet to do this kind of interview, but 
I enjoyed it. And Me I, too. All right, and we have to do it again. I'm coming to a tour date. Yes, you have okay. to. Okay, tour kicks off Friday, so look for Taylor in the city near you, right? And um, thank you for donating money to the tornado, vic uh, tornado victims and, you know, all that you're doing in that regard. And congratulations on the video. And you guys, listen, go to mtvnews.com for more on Taylor Swift. And uh, thank you for tweeting us with the hashtag Ask Taylor. And uh, Taylor, any closing words you like for the fans? I just love you guys. Thank you for everything. I'm having the time of my life, and uh, I can't wait to see you on tour this summer. All right, Taylor Swift, ladies and gentlemen, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Huh? Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Feel free to take a flower with thank you too. Thank you. Okay. Very pretty. All right.